what up welcome back to the channel folks on today's quick vlog we're here around Baldwin Park Santa Fe Dam area again trying to just catch the sunset we got our uh, 40 mile per hour aerial rider 72 volts I don't know if you could really see the uh, odometer on the cycle analyst display. But we're close to 37. That thing says we're going about 41 miles per hour, so that's good. Woo. Got my uh, Shinko Moto tires on this uh, frame, and uh, I gotta say I'm loving it. Uh, without it, I think I would possibly go maybe over 40 miles per hour. But I'd rather have good flat tire protection than not. My speedometer isn't 100% accurate, but it's close enough. So it'll show maybe 37 miles per hour, but literally I'm going around 40 miles per hour. And there's a speedometer right there, about 40 miles per hour again. Let's catch the sunset. So I finished my build, finally. I gotta say, I really like it. I'll give you a really good walkthrough in a second, but I just, you know, I'm attached to like unique bikes. I really like unique looking bikes that no one else really has. Yeah, basically this is my latest project bike. We popped it in on a red Aerial Rider x 52 volt frame. And again, we're running a uh, stock motor right now. Oh gosh, there's like a e-bikers right there. That looks like an Onyx or something. I wonder if that's Greg. He's always here around sunset. My front rotors are, are rubbing a little bit because I, I did some adjustments, but I'll try to get that fixed uh, shortly here. Let's try to find out what kind of e-bikers those guys are in the bottom over there. There's like a couple of them. So it's a little bit of Frankenstein-y, at least from the, from the side view, but the front view, I'm digging the front view and the, and the rear view. So this is it, that's a 72 volt battery. I got Cycle Analyst Phase Runner. I popped the Phase Runner in here, I hid the wires. Supposed to have some signal wires, but I can't get it to work for some reason. So these are just my headlight dials right here, on and off. This is a dirt bike moto tire from Amazon. It was about 40 bucks, and it just changes the overall look of the bike. Like, look at that. Hides all the wires nicely over there, and it's just popped in with three zip ties. One here, two, and three. I love those projector lights. These uh, lights right here are from the Cycle Analyst uh, display. I, I think I like it at night. It gives me more visibility. These are the rear lights that I popped in. Some Moto tail lights. I guess like about 20 bucks on Amazon. Again, this actually has signal lights, but for some reason I can't get the switch to work. Um, so I'm using the Cycle wing lights for now. Pretty much the build. It's a stock motor, 72 volt, about 20 amp in the tank. It's a red X-Class 52 volts, clearly. I definitely love the look, for sure. Take a moment to enjoy the sunset, take some pictures. All right, all right. Took some nice shots. Let's chase the sunset a little bit here. So basically, this might honestly replace my Super Civic 3 RX. I think I'm gonna end up selling that. Oh, if I didn't mention, this is an RX seat, Super 73 RX seat that is just Velcro taped. Uh, it's really nice for my height because it lowers the uh, the seat position. I'm a big fan of the Super 73 RX seat. Uh, it's really comfortable. You know, it has PAS system. Um, I can fine tune a lot of the things from the ramp up, the torque, all that stuff. Um, so I would say this is pretty much 99, 97% complete. Um, 
um, there's not much that I'm really gonna do much else to it. There's so much things to fine tune on the phase runner once you pop it in the computer, but it's not like the torquiest bike, but it gets there slowly. And obviously I'm just running, again, I'm running just the stock motor. I'm pushing the stock motor actually up to 3,500 watts, but when, it, when I'm going around 40 miles per hour, it's literally just using around uh, 2,500 watts. So yeah, the stock motor can definitely go above what, what is uh, limited. Who is that? <laughs> it's an Onyx and a Super 73. That might be Greg and the, that might be Greg and um, his girlfriend. Might be. They honked at me and stuff. They're always around here around sunset time. It's nice to see some water here after the rain. It finally just cleared up. Let's go see if that's Greg. Let's make a U-turn. Greg has so much bikes as well. He does have an Onyx. Um, he bought the Super 73 Z1 from me. I can't see from here if that's actually the Z1 that they bought. Or maybe just random e-bikers saying hi to everyone. All right, I'm gonna wait a little bit here. I'm gonna try to fix my, my front disc rotors because it's still um, rubbing a little bit. The headlights, it changes, to me at least, changes the fairing, the headlights changes so much of the bike's look, a point where like it's, it's a whole different bike. It doesn't look like an aerial rider X class 52 volts, at least for me. And these tires are really nice, like on the on the frame. I really recommend them. They're like 50 bucks uh, each on Amazon, but yeah, I'd rather have more protection. It doesn't matter if it's going slower. Uh, this isn't, you know, to replace an Onyx. I didn't build it for that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the bike's complete look. You hit all the wires under here which is nice. Um, when I was testing it out, this was open, but now it's not. Close that in. All right, that seemed to have fixed the, uh, the rotors. No more rubbing, thank God. We're gonna just chill and hang here. It still has like the, the seven speed gear from stock. I'm thinking of removing that because it's really cheap looking. And um, you don't really need to change gears on, on a bike like this in my opinion. Definitely not. We just decided to do a quick vlog of this complete bike that we've been working on. Since it was raining so much, I put this in the house and we were just tweaking things, ordering the all the lights that I needed, that I wanted to hook up. The Phase Runner Cycle Analyst lights is only like a really weak, um, amperage where it can't power other uh, 12 volt headlights so what I had to do was I had to buy a capacitor from Amazon and it's about 30 bucks it goes about 120 amperage and uh, hey I see you guys <laughs> I wasn't sure that was you guys huh? I wasn't sure that yeah, I, know it's you. Oh, I was trying to and he's like, oh, it's you. Yeah, I was like, these. I, I'm talking in my blog. I was like, I'm, I think that's Greg, and then I couldn't. I was trying to make sure that they, that was a Super 73 Z1. <laughs> you guys are always here on Sunset, huh? Yeah. Nice. How's things going? You're not cold. <laughs> it's freezing. Uh, I have to ride at night in the rain a lot for work, so this is actually okay. For me. Oh, you used to it. Nice, nice. We flooded out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, you, where did you guys go? I saw you guys like go this way. All the way down to the end where the gates are for the red fair. And the yeah, we'll see how far we can go down. Oh, okay. That's Just the 72 volt now? Yeah. Wait, I can't even see your light. It, it, oh, you're in daylight, huh? Yeah, my light. There you go, yeah. So that's your light compared to my light, okay. Yours is all right. Yeah, because I can't tell. I'm on, a, I'm on tinted glasses, so I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Good enough, I guess. I like my under lights. Yeah. That's what I, I don't have like brake lights. It's always just on, but whatever. They said they want to do one lap around the uh, Santa Fe Dam. So let's get it. It's good, because I wanted to test my, um, my headlights. Anyway. 2,800 watts, about 
136 miles per hour. We're going about 3,000 watts now, 38 miles per hour. And looks like there's some people. I had to cut it short a little bit. But that's definitely 40 miles per hour. I love those lights. There's still some people here after dark. Now, if I had a direct drive motor, I would, uh, I would have regen. You've been you riding your EUC more? Yeah. Okay. It's fun. Yeah. But I saw the EX30. Oh my God, they go on like 50. Oh wow, that's fast. Like getting there like so. You guys are looking to go to that Renaissance Fair? I might. Yeah. I, uh, I wonder if they do LARPing, like the live action. <laughs> oh, they do? <laughs> I've always laughed at that and I want to I wanna just experience it one time. <laughs> How do they even keep score of that? I, yeah, that's like a referee, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> that's pretty much my red underlights. That's what it looks like, it's pretty cool. That's why I popped it in there. We're good. I just wanted to look at the lights. Yeah. All right. These guys go here a lot, more than I do, which is nice. All right, so it looks like we are running at 78 volts or so, and the, the other one thing that I actually um, want to mention is I bought a capacitor, but I also bought a um, an X60 splitter. One side goes to the main motor, I mean the controller, and then the other other part of the battery goes towards the capacitor, which powers the lights. All right, man. I'm going that way. See ya. Good seeing you guys. All right, let's punch it. We're all alone now. Let's go home. Let's watch a Lego game. Max throttle. Let's go. Speed tuck. Max throttle. Twenty-eight hundred watts. Ah, we and we're hitting a red light. God dang it. So pretty much your stock motor, you can get it up to like 3,500 watts. I mean, I don't, I don't recommend it, but I'm just saying that you can if you want. Aerial Rider X Class 72 volts. With the phase runner setup, stock motor, pretty much going 40 miles per hour. That's gonna be today's quick vlog, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more content. Check out the useful links in the description below for additional discounts on your Super 73, your Aerial Rider, or a DIY bath and kit. This is E-Bike Adventure signing out. See you guys in the next one. Peace.